So real quick before you get into this video, I just want to say if you love me and you want to support me, you want to support my channel, please give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe, and please make sure you watch this video in full or as long as you possibly can because I am getting very close to being monetized, but I am just a few hours shy of the requirement, which is 4,000 hours of watch time. So yes, if you wanna support me and you wanna show me some love, you wanna show my channel some love, please just watch this video as long as you can. And while you're at it, go binge my other videos. Give this video a thumbs up to recommend it to others. And yeah, just subscribe to my channel. Now, to the video. Hey lovers and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am Satacity and this is my channel. So it's been a minute since I posted about like anything fitness related, weight loss related. Y'all know if you've seen those videos. I went hard for 12 weeks, lost no weight for real. Like three pounds, y'all. Let me tell y'all, it's been like what a month, maybe two months. Weight still hasn't changed. Um, but honestly, I haven't been trying. So I have been just learning some things about my body. I did learn that I have an avocado sensitivity and I love avocado toast. So I can't have avocado toast anymore. Um, I did not know, like if you have a latex allergy, you should not consume avocados because it's a rubber fruit, whatever that means. Don't know the science behind it, but basically whatever's in latex is also in avocados. And if you have a latex allergy, you have an avocado sensitivity. So yeah, I learned that. And since I stopped eating avocados, I don't really have any bloating or any like stomach issues, cramping or anything like that. Since I have not been having avocados, um, I tried low carb um, for like two weeks. It was kind of successful, but and sustainable. But I just like decided to switch to something else. And I think that's my problem. And that's what I've been dealing with. With my weight loss is I'm just not, very consistent y'all this lighting is like so bad i'm sorry like the sun is setting but i wanted to get this video going while i felt motivated to do it and i've been trying to record this intro and give y'all an update for a long time so here we are y'all getting in whether the lighting is bomb or not okay so i try low carb for a couple weeks and um like I said, I'm, I haven't really been trying, trying. So it was kind of successful when I got back from um, Cancun. I lost the five pounds that I gained from doing by doing low carb. But then like I switched to like trying a carb cycle. Then I switched to like counting calories. And I think that's my issue. It's like I'm not like trying hard enough in, to be consistent with one thing and give it a chance to work except for OMAD and obviously that didn't work. But anyways, so I feel like for me and my body, I do need to eat low carb, which I've mentioned several times, and I need to count my calories because I work a sit down job. I get up and take a walk maybe two or three times throughout the day, but most of the time I'm sitting down and I know that I'm not burning off everything that I'm eating because some days I just don't feel like working out and I just don't go. So. I want to do better with my workouts. I'm trying to be more consistent with counting my calories. I'm not really sure what's all going to be included in this video, but today is October 5th, which is a Wednesday. So I can't really do a what I eat in a day only because um, it's the middle of the week and I was in Michigan the last two days and I just got home last night. So I don't have groceries to do what I eat in a day. Um, I might show a little bit of what I eat over the next couple days and then starting on Sunday I'm going to start a full video a full week of like fitness things the setup is going to be a little bit different um, I'm probably going to do like a intro show what I eat during the week not every single day maybe just like one or two days one or two meals or something like that maybe show a couple of workouts and then probably weigh in at the end of the week I'm not going to record every single day and every single workout because that's when I feel pressured. And if I'm feeling too pressured to get results, I'm stressed and that increases my cortisone level. So I'm not getting, so that's also hindering my weight loss, having increased cortisol. So I don't want to do anything that's going to make me feel too pressured. So moving forward, these fitness videos will be very light and airy, 
um, not too intense, not too detailed, but I'm going to give y'all a weigh in a little bit of what I'm eating and how I'm feeling, um, each week. So I don't have like a set time for how I'm going to do this, but I do know that we are in the last 90 days of 2022 and I want to lose at least 15 pounds. Like, come on at least 15 pounds in the last 90 days. 90 days is a long time. I know we got the holidays and everything coming up, but I just need to be disciplined. I need to get my life together. I need to be disciplined. So yeah, the, I'm gonna stop talking now. I just wanna give y'all an update. Again, not sure what the rest of this video is gonna have in it. Um, So yeah, just stay tuned for the rest of the video and see what I got going on. Okay, so I couldn't figure out what I wanted to have for dinner. I don't really have groceries like I mentioned so I'm just gonna have breakfast for dinner my total breakfast is 390 calories breakfast my total breakfast for dinner is 390 calories I'm gonna do a bagel thin which is 110 calories um, plain whipped cream cheese which is 50 calories for two, 50 calories for two tablespoons two pieces of uncured turkey bacon and two organic brown eggs and that is going to bring me to the 390. I did not hit my protein goals today and that's mostly because like I said I didn't have groceries so I didn't really take lunch lunch for work. I'm going to try to see what I can pull together tonight. Maybe I can convince my boyfriend to cook me um, lunch for tomorrow. I pray he says yes but yeah so that's what i'm gonna have for dinner so i'm gonna make it and then i will show y'all uh the meal once i'm done and then i'm probably no i am going to work out tonight not sure if i'm gonna record it or not but i might yeah so let's get to it and there we have dinner two eggs the thin bagel and cream cheese two pieces of turkey bacon 390 calories Cancel any time. Deal ends Friday, October 14th. apples that I cooked in light organic light brown sugar and cinnamon and to make the oatmeal I use water and almond milk and I'm having a cup of coffee I use two equate sweeteners and three of the coffee mate original creamers so this coffee is 30 calories this oatmeal is I think it's like 477 calories because I put peanut butter in it and I used butter to cook the apples. So I know this was very high in calories, but at my dinner is usually pretty pretty light. So I'm not worried about it. But this is what I'm having for breakfast today. And then I'll also show y'all lunch and probably dinner, even though we don't have food, I'll figure it out. So yeah, breakfast. And here is lunch. We have salmon with sriracha mayo green beans and rice this is a total of 356 calories and i will follow up with y'all at dinner so i'm feeling kind of hungry so i'm gonna do a snack do y'all have like a snack drawer at work because this is my snack drawer all the things in it but i'm gonna have this snack which is turkey sticks it's high in protein low in carbs in strands fat um, yeah, the macros on these are really good. So I'm going to do two of these sticks for 80 calories. And then I'm also going to have the other half of this Bay Bye drink. 
I was using this to add my greens to, which are right here, but I haven't really been having them. But I guess since I mentioned it, I'll just put some greens in the bag drink which is zero calories oh 10 calories wow okay that's still not a lot zero sugars high carbs which is oh i think this ends up being one carb because of the et ethyl ethyl i don't know how to pronounce that exactly but yeah so i'm gonna have this i'm gonna take this greens put it in that and then i'm gonna have some turkey turkey and i got these from mm, i don't know Maybe Vons or Stater Bros, one of those, but yeah, I'm gonna have those. So I really want a cupcake, but I'm not gonna have a cupcake because a cupcake will put me completely over my calories and I'm better than that. So I'm going to go to Walgreens and get a Think Thin protein bar because they have a new flavor that is cupcake flavor. You know, like the Hostess cupcakes with the um, white stuff on top. So yeah, I'm heading to Walgreens now and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when I get it because it is just chef kiss. So yummy. Okay, so I just left Walgreens, right? Let me see if the camera is like sitting right. I just left Walgreens, right? And um, I got my, my bars, so I got seven. And let me tell you why I got seven. Because I need them for next week. So I just got them now because they don't sell them at the grocery store. But this is the protein bar. Think then, 18 grams of protein, two grams of sugar, not gonna count the carbs because it's probably high in carbs. Yeah, 28 grams of carbs, take away the dietary fiber, 24 grams of carbs. No added sugar, but two uh, grams of sugar, sugar total. Oh wait, they got 14 sugar alcohols. So I guess you could take that away too. So what that, what that does that leave like? 10 i don't know i'm not sure yeah i think like 10 gram total grams of net carbs 250 calories for the bar um i'm recording on my phone so i can't look at the calories that i have left my fitness pal app gives me like 1240 calories and i try to stay around there but i know that my tdee is like 13 something which i mentioned yesterday um so i try to really shoot for i try to shoot for the 1240 but if i go over into like the 13s i'm not too upset about it because i know that my tde is like 13 something so i have that extra wiggle room plus i work out i'll burn some calories off whatever whatever so i'm gonna have this but let me show y'all what it looks like it looks just like this cupcake right here like a little hostess cupcake mm, 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 mm. but it's so so good i shouldn't be this excited about this thing but i am um, see it has the white lines on it i'm not one of those youtubers that eats on camera i mean i have it on camera before but i don't like eat and like taste stuff and i don't know that's just weird to me i mean i don't judge people who do it but i don't do it because i think it's just like weird because i don't like talking food in my mouth and i don't like like eating in front of people well you know what i mean like eating on camera it's just so weird to me i don't know i just can't do it I probably done it I probably will do it eventually maybe uh, but yeah anyways that's so random now back to the bar I'm about to smash it I gotta get home cuz I have Spanish lessons at 20 minutes okay I may have mentioned that I'm taking Spanish lessons but y'all I'm not getting good I feel like I'm still at the beginning but whatever okay I am going to work out tonight not sure if I'm gonna record that oh wait I have to try out him for dinner I'm probably just gonna have chicken and the other half of the green beans that I have for lunch yeah cuz I might not have no calories left after I eat this so I'll show you my little dinner which will be very little cuz I try to have my um, smaller meals at the end of the day so dinner will be like small but anyways it will all be within my calories because we are counting calories and being consistent with that so yes gonna eat this gonna have dinner gotta go i will see y'all later so i'm not super hungry but i'm gonna have this chicken breast which i'll cut up and put in the air fryer this is six ounces of chicken breast which is 299 calories which puts me at like 1400 and something calories which is clearly over my tde but I'm about to work out and whatever calories I burn from that, I'll just add back to the app um, for exercise and call it a day. And this is the last thing I'll eat for today. I'm going to work out um, after I'm done and I'll check back in with y'all like later 
in the well tomorrow's Friday, so I'll check back in with y'all probably on Saturday. And then we'll just um yeah, catch up. So I'm not going to record the workout because I just don't feel like it. But I wanted y'all to know that I am up at 5 30 a.m. to do a workout this morning. I really want to start doing workouts in the morning because I feel like I could do so much more with my day now that I started my blog and now I need to do blogs and I need to do YouTube and I have to work. I just want to make sure that I have time to do everything. So I want to start working out in the morning. So I'm up on a Friday at 5.30 a.m. I'm about to get this workout in. I'm going to do my Juice and Toy strength training video for 30 minutes. Then I follow that up with um I'll go with the Joe video and then I'll do these um this five minute intense ad video and then that'll be it. So I hope I can get through all of it. I'm a little bit sleepy, but not like oh my god, I'm so sleepy. So yeah, up at 5 30. Let's go. So it is after work and I want to be transparent as always. I got a medium french vanilla iced latte from duncan with regular milk um it says on the app that this is 270 calories i think it might be more but it says 270 calories this is a sour cream a sour cream cake donut and this is 300 and something calories so as of right now my app i have like six calories left for the day and i haven't had dinner so i'm either gonna go over or this is it for me for the day so i made an executive decision that i'm going to be consistent with tracking my calories even if i have something that's not so great like a donut and coffee i'm tracking it so if this means that i can't have dinner because i have these two things as long as i hit my protein for the for the day i'm fine with that otherwise i will go over my calories a little bit um just to make sure that I get I get all of my protein. At the end of the day, I want to make sure I always get all of my protein. But yeah, I'm going to have this coffee and this donut. And then I'm going to go grocery shopping. And I just wanted to share that with y'all because I like to be transparent and let y'all know what's going on. So the honorary 191.2 today is going to weigh in for this vlog. It's Saturday morning. Yeah. So for breakfast this morning, which is still Saturday, I'm going to have a bagel thin, which is 110 calories. I'm having some chai tea. Um, I'm going to make it into like a whole drink with my silk creamer. It is 25 calories per tablespoon. Probably going to do like two tablespoons. And then I'm going to have my whipped cream cheese. There's like literally nothing left in there, probably only a tablespoon. So it's 50 calories for two tablespoons. I'm just going to do one tablespoon because that's literally all the stuff in there. So 110 plus the 50, that's 160, um, 70, 85. So total for breakfast, it'll be about 185-ish. I'm... Having a light breakfast, and I'm going to tell you why in two seconds. So I decided to have a banana. I am having a long banana. Decided to check this at 121 calories, which is a lot for banana, but I love bananas, so I'm going to have this with my bagel and my drink. And that is going to put me at 306 calories for breakfast. I hope my makeup is like matching. I had to shoot some um, pics for a brand, so I had to get dolled up. Plus it's Saturday, and on Saturdays I can wear a little makeup. So, back to breakfast. The reason why I have such a small breakfast is because I'm meeting another travel social work babe who is on assignment in California for lunch. So, kind of like a late lunch, because we're meeting at 2.30. So I'm about to head out now and go to the place. I looked at the menu it's a very like healthy place they have like not healthy stuff but they also have pretty healthy stuff so the goal is to get something pretty healthy obviously i will show y'all um what i have when i get there and then we will end the vlog and we'll pick up in the morning for a new week of vlogs well a new week of vlog so a new week's vlog come on I'm sorry y'all, it's Saturday and I should be sleeping. But anyways, here we are. 
yes i'm about to leave the house now and go to brunch we are going to california grill it is in whittier california it's about 37 minutes from where i am right now um yeah i'll show y'all what i have when i get there so i'm hungry before i go i'm going to have a think thin cupcake bar y'all know these my favorite 250 why is it so blurry 250 calories of course i'll log it and i'm gonna have this while i drive this is whittier it is so green way more green than upland pomona area absolutely beautiful oh and this is the place california girl so I know I said I would be healthy, but I got the buffalo chicken ranch flatbread and a side salad. Look, y'all got some greens. So, it's working. I don't know how many calories this is, but I won't eat nothing else today. So, there's that. Okay. So, if y'all saw what I had for my lunch, that is also going to be my dinner. I'm actually full, and I don't think I'm going to be hungry again later so yeah i'm not sure what the cal calories were i'm gonna try to log them but i don't know if i'll be able to anyways i'm about to just walk down the street because it's such a cute place um i'm going to end this vlog here we will pick up in the morning for a new vlog um that is all for this vlog like i said at the beginning of this video Please make sure you give it, a, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and then watch my other videos. We trying to get monetized. Like, we are too close. That's crazy. So, yeah, check them out. Enjoy, and um, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.